your mom and dad. After our two plane rides and a five hour drive, we made it to Costa Rica, San Isidro to be exact. It was a long journey, but a beautiful one. Wherever you go, you saw God's beauty. Hey. <laughs> An average day has been waking up at 5.45 a.m. to have daily mass and breakfast. I wish we got one more hour of sleep, but by 6 a.m. the sun was already up. After mass and breakfast, we then go to our respective work sites to serve the community and the people of Costa Rica. I was in the work site that worked at the community of Guadalupe. There, we are mixing and pouring the concrete, stacking cylinder blocks, and building a ramp for the handicapped. It is a lot of hard work, but it is so much fun. Even though we are strangers to them, they welcome us like we are their family. The kids I have met from the other schools are so down to earth and such a joy to be around. Everyone is so kind to one another while we work and have fun together. Some of the most fun is getting to visit the kids at the school in the community. We show up during their recess time and play duck duck goose or soccer in which a lot of them are better than me. They all just have a special light inside of them that makes me so happy. I can't describe it. Thank you so much for sending me on the Bishop Dunn mission trip. This has been the most beautiful and humbling experience I have ever been on. I will be forever grateful. Your daughter, Monica. I actually got to meet a little boy named Santiago. He's five years old and he lived right across the street from our campsite. We had a lot of fun. We jumped on rocks. We played in the dirt, in the rain. And he was just so excited for us to be there. It's to see a lot of uh, young people so driven and so, you know, wanting to do missionary work. You get to see uh, just the kind of, you get to see Christ in them really and share something with them and that is the uh, desire to serve. It's really just amazing the things that you do and um, you get to witness the impact that you've done to the people of the Costa Ricans. You know? It's really cool. One of the things I'm going to miss the most are the Costa Ricans. Um, they were so welcoming and so loving. They treated us like we were their kids and at the end of the trip it was like we were all one big family.